Well, hey everybody, I'm Jan Erickson from Stepping Aside and welcome to Esoteric Influences for Wednesday, the 22nd day of September, 2021. Well, with the 22nd day, that means we have a 22 numerology, which is the Cosmic Builder. It's a master number, very powerful soul uh, presence rune or rune numerology. I'm caught up in the runes here. And uh, uh, it's, it's basically about soul manifested change. So higher self-awareness uh, manifesting change today. Um, given that we're also in the equinox at 12.21 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, just check your own time there, wherever you are. Um, we're looking at, at the end of one phase and the beginning of another one, which will likely be quite profound. The rune is Kenaz for today, or the torch or the light of spirit. Uh, in informing our, our perceptions. We also have Caput Draconis, the geomancy rune for today, which is new beginnings. It's the, uh, the, the head of the dragon, basically, or the north node of the moon influence. Kata, its opposite or complement is the south node. Uh, and there you're dealing with karma and uh, the effect of past uh, awareness or past action on present moment experience. Um, but this is about something new manifesting, and I think on on an equinox day, it's just incredible that, that this is the this is the case. The moon's in Aries, and again, autumn equinox at 12:21 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Charisma uh, and initiation uh, are the uh, human design channels active uh, today. Higher self awareness, but initiation is the need to be first. Uh, about things and so to initiate things be the one who does that now sometimes that works out well and sometimes it doesn't with the moon in Aries you know who knows <laughs> it just kind of depends on what you do uh, Mercury governs magic today uh, communication interactions balance justice revelation and the favorability of working magic is very good so uh, let's see, on this master number day, signaling profound soul level change or manifestation, Kenaz brings clarity to both your perceptions and your chosen path of alignment with others. Intuition is strong and new plans have the potential for success today. The autumn equinox where day and night are of equal length happens today and you may want to perform a ritual involving new beginnings at 1221 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, the exact time of the equinox. Take time to observe, if not though, take time to observe perceptions that no longer serve slipping away into the moment of equinox while replacing them with new perceptions that resonate in a higher vibration. Or if you're uncomfortable with the idea of, of, uh, of per uh, watching perceptions give way to new ones, if, if that's a little too much for you, uh, just, just uh, replace perception with just observing one phase or path ending as a new phase or path begins. Lots of things to think about in that regard right now, I think. Uh, take the initiative if others are hesitant to do so and stay alert to how the effect of timing or fate impacts your progress today. Collaborate with others so that efforts are organized uh, and foster an outcome that is beneficial to all concerned. If one path becomes unsustainable, it may be that you've exhausted all that it has to offer. And that might actually be the basis for one period ending and a new one beginning at the time of equinox today so use that powerful energy if you want to uh it's very cool and uh, uh if you're interested in the uh, uh correspondences for today um you can go over to the patreon page and 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 check that out over there so uh, there'll be a video there as well so thanks a lot for watching and be good to yourself be good to one another and blessed be